donuts. A food I'm sure many kids would love to eat on a regular basis, but the real question is, should they? Probably not. But you'd be surprised with the amount of parents out there that don't have that common sense, because from a young age, I've known a few people who did eat donuts for breakfast, along with many other junk foods in their usual diet. There was one thing all these people had in common as well, and it was that they were overweight, fat, obese along with the rest of their family, which is no coincidence. And today we're going to be taking a look at this mom on TikTok who recently went viral for recording her preparation of her young kids' meals, including a one-year-old, which I think gives a peek into why there's some kids out there that seem to just be always overweight from a very young age. But without further ado, let's take a look at the second coming of Gordon Ramsay. So this is the video that went pretty viral, getting over 10 million views, and on face value, it honestly doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Like yeah, powdered sugar donuts are definitely pretty damn unhealthy as a breakfast, especially for a one-year-old, but it's not exactly the end of the world. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of kids out there that have had a donut or two for breakfast in their life before. It doesn't necessarily mean this is some terrible mom, right? See, that's where I thought that maybe people were overreacting on this mom, but looking into some of the other brilliant meal preps on her TikTok page definitely raises some alarm bells, not gonna lie. Because believe it or not, this isn't the first time she serves donuts to the kids, and probably not the last. Gotta love the caption here as well. It's an easy morning. Definitely is an easy morning, cutting up those nasty box glazed donuts on a plate. See, this is where I can't get behind this TikTok mom because while she does cook some healthy meals, I'm not just gonna cherry pick the unhealthy ones because there are some good ones. Most of them are pretty bad on the heart and weight and that extends past just breakfast. And you know, it's no secret that her and her boyfriend and girlfriend are pretty rotund individuals, which usually the kids tend to follow in the footsteps for. That's why I'm torn on whether I agree with everyone saying that this is a form of child abuse. It's almost like this is a form of abuse purely out of a lack of any dietary knowledge. Which is shocking, because I don't think it takes a dietician to know that one-year-olds shouldn't be eating all this sugar, potentially making it a staple of their diet for years to come. But yeah, we've taken a look at breakfast. Now, let's check out dinner. That can't be a good start when the video starts off with a bunch of oil. <laughs> I injured myself trying to cut fries, so someone else had to do it.
burgers, fries, cheese, it's bad. And I am gonna play a video in the background of a rare, healthy meal she made, because they do exist. But for the most part, it's all bad, and the more and more I see, the more I could predict that these kids are probably gonna be fat as fuck in the future, if not already, let's be real. I'm not gonna sit here and praise this mom for cooking at all, because that's the bare minimum. Like, most of this stuff is garbage, let's not sugarcoat it. You got Kraft mac and cheese cups in one video, fries and grapes in another, donuts, it's just bad. But yeah, we've taken a look at breakfast and dinner. Let's finish off this feast of health with lunch. Y'all ready to yell at me? Then do it, bestie. Cause my girl likes these, and my girl gonna get some. We got strawberries, bananas, blueberries, some Cheetos, french fries, and nuggets. Okay. This is a little tight for the bulls. Nuggets, Cheetos, fries, the cornerstones of all healthy meals, of course. It's not even the first time this lunch was made either. The more and more videos I watched while making this video, the more I struggled to be on this mom's side. With that said, I don't think she deserves all the hate and backlash she's getting. Now, I know that times could be tough and healthier meals can be more expensive, but I still think that it should always be your number one priority as a parent to make sure your kids have a healthy lifestyle. That includes having some basic knowledge on diets, I swear, there needs to be some basic parenting courses out there that you need to take before spawning in some kids. But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know what your thoughts are on this situation. Leave a comment. Is this a form of abuse? Is it not? When the diet is this bad, I think it is. But let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.